Rooster Teeth News is brought to you today by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere. Get an extended free trial when you visit HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and today is Christmas! That means there's not a lot of news happening because everyone is in a wrapping paper destruction frenzy, so we thought instead we'd make sure you know all about the holiday DLC and events taking place in games so you can still be festive once you've snuck away from family for a bit of a cheeky gaming session. So let's start with DLC. Payday 2 has released a free heist for PC called Charlie Santa, which sees you robbing the Geo Bank based on a Counter-Strike Global Offensive map on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. Gage the arms dealer will show his giving spirit by providing you with a weapon sight in case of snipers. There will be nine new Christmas themed achievements and anyone who joins the Payday 2 group on Steam will also get a Santa mask, so everyone knows you're a very jolly psychopath. Saints Row 4 has stepped up to the plate with their How the Saints Saved Christmas DLC, in which Santa is trapped inside the simulation, and the Saints have to help the boss discover his Christmas spirit in order to save him. The DLC contains three new missions, new weapons in the form of a Red Ryder BB gun that should be familiar to anyone who's seen A Christmas Story, a Christmas dubstep gun, and a North Pole. Plus, get around in style with flying reindeer and Santa's sleigh. On a similar note, Borderlands 2 has a new Headhunter DLC called How Marcus Saved Mercenary Day, where you'll take on snowmen, holiday jingles, and an ugly sweater to recover a train full of guns. The DLC will focus around the festivity-themed mission, and you'll fight off new enemies like snowmen and yetis to take on his abominableness, Mr. Tinder Snowflake Esquire, between bouts of opening Christmas-themed loot drops and weapons chests. Ah, this the spirit. Additionally, a bunch of games are running annual holiday celebrations with special items, missions, modes, and more to enjoy before they melt away. Dota 2 celebrates the holidays with Frostivus, which most notably adds a new game mode called Wraith Knight, in which five players cooperate to defeat 13 waves of creeps while defending the altar of the Wraith King, only to turn around and fight him when he resurrects. Throughout the waves, you can collect fragments, which you can then build up to redeem for exclusive Wraith Knight items. League of Legends is getting in on the spirit with their Snowdown Showdown, which will pit players against one another in a 1 vs 1 or 2 vs 2 duel on the Howling Abyss map. They've also released new holiday skins for champions Lulu, Singed, and Severe, and re-released 20 previous Snowdown skins. They're also offering new word skins, Mr. Gifting, and Holiday Icon Rewards. Team Fortress 2's version of Christmas is Smithsmiths, and they're giving everyone who plays a stocking stuffed with the kinds of toys the killers enjoy. There are new holiday-themed hats, clothing items, and weapons for each class, a gift pull you can use to launch gift items to randomly chosen online players, nutty and nice winter keys that unlock corresponding nutty or nice chests, and previous event item grants have been re-enabled, even for those who may have deleted their earlier grants. As a bonus, premium players each receive a secret Saxton they can give to another player. Even GTA Online's got the bug. Players who log in today will be greeted with a snowstorm, and Vespucci Movie Masks has stocked up on Santa, Snowman, and Reindeer Masks that you can use until January 5th. They've also got limited availability holiday stuff in their clothing shops, and a bunch of vehicles, weapons, and apartments are temporarily discounted. Grenades, tear gas, and sticky bombs are half price. Luxury sedans like the Super Diamond, Vapid Fugitive, Benefactor Schwarzer, and Ubermach Scion are 30% off. Tinsel Towers Apartments 45 and 29 are 25% off, and Winter Hats, Hinterland Boots, and Yeti Boots are also half off. Good thing, since you'll need them to keep warm in the snow. World of Warcraft is running their annual holiday event, Feast of Winter Vale, and Jingle Pocket Goblins have set up shops in major cities from which you can purchase holiday treats like Great Father's Winter Ale, candy canes, gingerbread cookie recipes, and mistletoe. There's a holiday-themed quest to recover a shipment of holiday goods that's gone missing while traveling through Alterac, and Christmas trees in Ironforge and Orgrimmar have been stocked with brightly wrapped gifts for adventurers to take, though you do need to meet level requirements for some of them. Final Fantasy XIV also has an annual Starlight Celebration, which asks adventurers to protect sentient snowmen who have been attacked by imps, and rewards of eternal ice can be exchanged for seasonal clothing, food, and companion sets. Finally, Animal Crossing New Leaf is getting festive with Toy Day, which you may need to set your 3DS clock back for because it actually takes place after 6pm on Christmas Eve. Throughout the month of December, your villagers will have told you what gifts they want, and I hope you remembered. You'll find Jingle the Reindeer hanging around your town tree, and after you talk to him and dress up in the Santa hat, pants, jacket, boots, and beard you've bought from the Able Scissors throughout the month, he'll give you a gift bag to deliver to the villagers. Even if you give out the wrong gifts, you'll get a reward, but you get a bonus if you get them right. Did we miss any festive game activities or DLC? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll add them to the list in the description between rounds of Christmas ham and cheesy potatoes. And if you just can't get enough of Rooster Teeth, remember we've got a new episode of our gaming podcast, The Patch, streaming on the site today for sponsors, or tomorrow for all our awesome community. Merry Christmas!